So we're here at iHipHop.com chilling, you know, with Rick Cordero, major director of, you know, everybody's video, including your own favorite one. So how's everything going on with you? Things are good. I'm really excited about, you know, just the current state of music. Uh, I think it's a great time for, for a lot of shooters, a lot of directors. So how did you initially first get into doing videos as opposed to, you know, you originally being a filmmaker? How did that first even get off? I didn't go to film school, so a lot of my education came from just running around the streets and trial and error, uh, you know, getting whatever kind of cameras I could get in my hands and just doing videos, you know, and um, it was a passion of mine that I had, you know, while I was doing a full-time job, which was uh, graphic design. I was building my, you know, relationships with these different artists and upcoming artists and established artists is what kind of led me to have a career in directing. And, um, you know, it was just a lot of, a lot of struggles, a lot of, you know, pounding the pavement and running around the streets of New York City with a camera. And I really feel like I'm coming back to that now. And it's more fun because of the technology. With, you know, so many other artists right now, you know, taking the, taking the camera themselves and becoming directors, you know, their own videos. Like, you know, Chris Brown, he just did the slight work with uh, Wale and uh, um, Big Sean. Like, do you feel that as, you know, more competition to you for you to get your stuff out there or you don't really think about them doing their thing because you're you know in your own type of lane i don't really see it as competition uh i think you know um i mean it's cute you know what i mean like I, <laughs> you know I, you know am i ever going to be competition to chris brown if i just started dancing all of a sudden or something like i don't know you, you know, know what you, i mean you like, never know your back foot could be a little mean. <laughs> yeah you never know right <laughs> <laughs> Would you feel threatened? Absolutely not. You know, <laughs> I'm comfortable with what I do. I do what I do. I, I like to tell the stories that I like to tell. Uh, it's I'm inspired by other artists, other directors who tell the stories they want to tell. Um, so when it becomes, you know, something that's political in nature, where it's like, uh, you know, something that could be perceived as a publicity stunt, if you have, you know, a huge you know, a uh, huge star suddenly directing, then, you know, it is what it is. But it, is it bad? No, you know. Um, you know, it's, it does something for the record. So, it works. I feel like I said everything I needed to say, you know, in the hip hop arena, and right now I'm just like, I wanna make stuff with my friends, and, and that's the only way I can do, I can push the boundaries of, of myself and challenge myself, is if I work with my friends and do something that I haven't done before instead of just doing the same things over and over. So can you just get into, you know, a little bit of how it was working with Jay-Z? Like, how was that like? How did you even get put on to that project? Like, did he already kind of know your name was out there buzzing and he wanted you to be a part of what he was doing at that time? Uh, the Jay-Z project came, that was in, uh, that was like around 07, I think, when American Gangster came out. I had just started, so a lot of my videos were, um, you know, they, None of them were really in rotation on TV or anything. I was just like, the, I was like the internet guy. Yeah. So uh, I really, yeah, I don't think Jay-Z knew anything about me. But um, I was working with the marketing department uh, at Def Jam at the time. And they were really kind of, I did a lot of good things for them, for the label, helped with some of the artists and some of the videos that they were putting out. So they pushed me and they gave me a shot and they kind of told Jay that, you know, they had this kid who's, who can who put this together. For, uh, for very little money <laughs> and, uh, and he, you know I don't think he really thought anything of it you know I, I, I think I don't really know I, I wasn't in the meetings like you know yeah. for the pre-production of it I think he really had no expectations if there were any at all when we went out and shot it and it was based on you know American Gangster the film which no one saw like I didn't see it like it wasn't out yet Jay-Z had the only copy so it was really just that the Def Jam telling me what they wanted to what they wanted to see, and me having to execute that um, like in half a day, you know. So that's really what it was. We just went out in the streets, and just put this together, and made a few phone phone calls, asked our friends to come show up and do it. And then the next day, um, I had a rough cut ready, and I didn't tell them I was going to do a rough cut. So I just went out and did it just. Just so I could see what I had, and I, um, a couple of Def Jam folks saw it, and they, they called up Jay, who was in the studio, and was like, "Yo, you got to see this." And so we kind of stopped what we were doing, and we went to the, to the 
the studio and um, and they showed it to him and he liked it. It was a great moment, you know, and I think uh, it really led to me getting a lot of work um, just for having this little trailer that he co-signed. You gotta remember in 07, it wasn't like internet videos were even popular. It was almost like nobody gave a shit. I just did the best that I could. And for him to co-sign that and put it out on the internet, and uh, I think it really made internet videos like it, it sent sort of a shockwave into the industry that, wow, this is okay, if Jay-Z is doing it, then, yeah, then any kid with a camera can just shoot something and, you know, and a major artist can throw their name behind it and it would be seen. And I got millions and millions of views and, um, and so, yeah, it was really, it was a great moment in uh, hip-hop internet video <laughs> history. <laughs> history. <laughs>